So Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, takes an iconic character from her childhood and essentially puts a horror twist on him. In this case, it's well, Winnie the Pooh. After Christopher Robin abandons them for college, Pooh and Piglet turn into bloodthirsty killers. Alrighty guys, so let's get into Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. Excellent! Um, there are some decent shots. Well, that's just fucking great. I do not know where to even start with this one. When I had heard the concept of taking a childhood character, like, I don't know, for example, in this movie's case, Winnie the Pooh, and turning Pooh Bear into a slasher villain, that made me think this could be a really fun slasher film if done right. I'd like to apologize that I didn't get to review this movie up when it came out. I was actually planning to go to this movie when it first came out, but unfortunately, time gone the way, and I just had no time to go see this movie, unfortunately, as a result. But, as they all say, guys, better late than never. All that I'd wanted out of this movie before I saw this movie was just a bloody good time seeing Pooh Bear and in this movie's case, Piglet, going against these people and just killing them. That's all I wanted to see out of this movie. <sighs> what in the shitting hell did I watch? This movie is so, so bad. And I mean when it's bad. And the words of Kevin Smith. It's fucking bad. The acting in this movie is so bad poor like it is laughably bad there are so many parts in this movie where either the actors are overcooking the crap out of their performances or just the dialogue itself is so poorly written christopher robin does play a role in this movie by the way he actually does christopher robin is barely in this movie the guy you would think would be i don't know at least eight percent of the movie is barely in the film so what do we have instead of Christopher Robin? A group of five women that go on vacation and Pooh and Piglet are killing them off one by one. If you're not going to make the film about Christopher Robin, at least make these characters characters that you actually, you know, care about. Did I care about them? Absolutely not. There is an entire scene in this movie which it focuses on one of the characters in their bikini just dancing around for no particular reason. There are so many sequences in which the performances are so over the top that I end up laughing hysterically. As a massive horror fan, hearing the concept of taking a childhood icon like Winnie the Pooh and turning him into a slasher film villain sounded like a really bloody good time. Cool concept. The execution though, Dear God, this is a movie that is so poorly executed, it feels so amateur to the point where you feel like the director of this movie has had no prior experience directing movies. Winnie the Pooh, Blind Honey feels like a movie that should have just gone either straight to DVD or straight to cable. But the fact that this movie actually got a theatrical release, Winnie the Pooh, Blind Honey has poor and i mean terrible cinematography there are some times not only where it's so poorly lit but genuinely you cannot tell what the hell is going on there is a certain chase sequence in which not only the camera is shaking so freaking much but the scene itself is so poorly lit that you're just hoping they'll turn an extra light bulb on just so you can see a little bit of a detail of what is going on in this movie this movie looks so freaking cheap it's not even funny when it came down to the overall tone of the film it looked like a film that just would be just a bloody good time that would not take itself too serious like a campy horror film one of the Pooh, blood and honey takes itself so seriously this movie takes itself so seriously to the point where it just feels comical what you have here are so many unintentionally hysterical scenes but the musical score of this movie just did not fit in particular there was a part of this movie where the musical score has these chants them and i just went what 
in the shitting hell? Or at least the kills this movie satisfying? Not even close. The kills this movie, guys, are not only so unsatisfying, but when you see a close-up of a character getting hit, the CG blood is so fake and it is so obviously fake that it constantly took me out of the film. If you're not gonna have at least decent acting, at least make the kills satisfying. Well, unfortunately, not only are the performances bad, and the story is bad, and the cinematography is bad, but the kills... Yeah, they suck. Not only that, but this movie is also so, so boring. Despite Winnie the Pooh, Blind and Honey being a little over an hour and 20 minutes, this movie is so uninteresting and so dull that this movie is such a slog to get through. <sighs> and here we go. So overall, Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey is not only an embarrassment, but it is an absolute disaster on every single level. This is a movie that should have been a fun and a bloody good time, but instead what we have here is that only so amateurish, it is so poorly made, but this movie is an insult. All in all, I'm gonna give Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey a zero out of five. So let me put, avoid this movie at all cost. So comment down below and let me know, have you guys seen Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey? Please, seriously, don't tell me you waste your time in this movie, but please let me know what you thought below. If you guys want to follow me on social media, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and I'm also on Twitch. So if you guys want to follow me on all those social media platforms, all the links and years names are in the description below. I hope you enjoyed my review of Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. If so, please that like button, I'll subscribe, and don't forget that notification bell for my next review goes live. If you guys want to see my previous two reviews, please click on the right there or right there. And of course, if my next review or video goes live, I'll see you all next time.